Look, sorry, Bruce, I don't care that you have a wife and three hatchlings. I have, uh, I have a stick of butter here, and I have a desire to win the World Series. And I'm going to be enjoying one of those things with you. Uh, you can decide which one that is, though. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to Game 4 of the World Series against the Atlanta Braves. And I'm going to say today basically decides our future. There's a big, big difference between 2-2 two, two and 3-1. And we do not want to be going down 3-1 in this series. So have a quick look at how all the numbers are shaping up so far. Uh, yeah, we can see for us, Vlad has been spectacular. And Tellez has been okay. Bichette's been pretty good. And that's about it, isn't it, with the bats. And the pitching, probably the less said about it, the better. Look at Tillo, 108 ERA. Vargas, 81. Um, Blake Snell, 9s. Anthony K eights, Helsley sevens, and Elvis sixes. Um, it's no surprise we're not doing too well, is it, uh, this World Series? But today is a new day. It's a brand new game. There's nine innings of baseball to be played. Let's have a look at the lineups. And this is it. We're up against the lefty today, so there are changes. Billy Hamilton leads this off in center field. Bo Bichette bats second at shortstop. Vlad Jr. bats third at first. It is Randall Grishuk in the team and up the order in left field to clean up for us. It's Rowdy Tellez batting five, the designated hitter. Oswald Peraza, he is at second base and bats six. Carson Kelly comes in to catch, he bats seven. Jordan Groshans in a slump and at third base, bats eight. Khalil Lee drops down the order to bat nine in right field. John Duplantier is on the mound for us today. He has had a wonderful, wonderful season, and he is a very good pitcher at home. So, out. Our season basically rests on your shoulders, mate. Please, please, please do not let us down. And as I said, we're up against the left-handed Sean Newcomb today for them. Um, oh, I mean, they just have such a good pitching lineup, don't they? ERA this regular season of 223, a whip of 119, a ERA plus of 202, a war's only 1.6. We'll cling to that. The war's not the best. Oh, we have to win. We have to win. All right, and here we go. I am almost too nervous to click continue. It's Pache to lead them off. He's batting 254 in the postseason. I think he's batting. Is it possible for him to bat like 112? Because he feels like he is just doing everything right. He's almost certainly, if they win, going to be the MVP of the series, isn't he? And I'll go away, Pache. Honestly, a leadoff home run. You've got to be kidding me. Second pitch of the game, and Pache has hit it over the fence. 408 feet, the Braves lead 1-0, and it was going so well until we started playing. Trey Harris comes in, batting 264, 2-1's two and one's the count on him. Come on, do plenty A. There's a ground ball, Bo has it, over to Vlad, one away. Maybe that's the high point for them. Maybe we go nine shutout innings after the leadoff man gets the home run. Ozzy Alves comes in, batting 373 in the postseason. Duplantier, first pitch. It's going to be an infield hit. He's just, just got it in the right spot there, hasn't he? Duplantier can't make the play. That is a one out single for Alves as Acuna Jr. comes in, batting 214. 3 and 0 oh is the count. He's hit the 3-0 pitch into a double play, has he? What an idiot. No, just the one. That's okay, though. That's okay. Two away for Freddie Freeman, who's batting 216. Come on, Duplantier. Finish this, mate. They're looking for the steal. And they get there. Two and two is now the counter. Is it going to go to a... It is going to go to a full count. Duplantier walks in. Two on, two out. It's Austin Riley. Now, he hit a grand slam, I think, in game three, didn't he? Come on, Duplantier. Another full count. The runners were going. It's popped up. Hamilton's there. Please make it a catch. There it is, Billy. Wonderful stuff. All right, so we get out of that innings with just the uh, just the two base runners, the two hits, and, of course, the home run. It's Newcomb to face Billy Hamilton, batting 200 in the postseason, but he does bat much, much better against lefty. I think he's batting 400 or so against lefties in the postseason. He's hit that, but straight to second base, and he cannot beat the throw. And that is not the leadoff home run they got. Bo Bichette comes in now. He is batting 397 in the postseason. One and one on Bo. Bo Bichette grounds at the third base. Can he beat that? Run, Bo! He cannot. And that is two away as Vlad Jr. comes in. Batting 333. Oh, and two is the count. Come on, Vlad. He has hit it well. Has he hit it well enough? No, it skips one bounce into the fence. But Vlad with a two-out double. And now it is Randall Grishuk coming in. Back into the team. 
and well, let's see if he can deliver for us. He's batting 222 in the postseason. Full count on Grishuk, and he draws a walk. Unlikely. Usually two strikes means out for Grishuk, but not on this occasion. Two on, two out for Rowdy Tellez. Come on, Rowdy. Batting 298. Two and two's the count. Tellez, he gets it in the right field. Is that enough to score, Vlad? It is not. It loads the bases for Peraza. He's batting 270. Oh, Oswald, what a chance this is. Come on, mate. One and one. Two out. Loaded bases. Peraza pops it up. Oh, are we going to live to regret that? In the end, no one crosses for the Jays. It is still 1-0 to the Braves. And Duplantier comes out to face Alexander, who's batting 192 in the postseason. Two and two's the count. Duplantier. That is going to drop in front of uh, Khalil Lee for a leadoff single. That is one away. In comes Riley Unro. We'll have you say that name. Batting 368. He has been a bit of a thorn on our side this, uh, this World Series, hasn't he? He's popped that up, though. Hamilton's there. Khalil Lee is there. They've got to, we've got to, well, apart from Grishuk, we've got to have the, you know, the fastest, two of the fastest outfielders in baseball, surely. Tucker Barnhart comes in. One out, one on. One and two is the count. Barnhart swings through strike three. That's two away. Up comes Parche, my least favorite baseballer right now. Let's see what we can do with him this time around. Home run to lead off the game. One and one's the count. Parche pops that up. That should be caught. Teve, uh, what's his face at first base? It's uh, Vlad, isn't it? He makes the play to end the innings. No runs for the, uh, for the Braves in that one. It's Carson Kelly coming in, batting 600 in the postseason. Why aren't we using him more often? Let's see what he can do to lead us off. Full count. Carson Kelly walks. Lead off walk. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's Josh Groshans. Again, he does bat okay versus lefties. He's only batting 158 and in a slump, though. But someone has to play third base. Groshans has popped it up. And that will be one away. It's going to be Khalil Lee coming in now, batting 224, but not good at all versus lefties. 1 and 0 oh is the count. Khalil Lee pops it up. It's got a mile in the air. If he could have straightened it out a little bit, he might have got himself a home run there. But that is two away, and it's Billy Hamilton coming in. 0 for 1 today to see what he can do. First pitch, Billy Hamilton gets it up the middle. Billy Hamilton gets a single. Carson Kelly will stay at second. And are we going to get another two-out rally going here as Bo Bichette comes in? He's 0 for 1 today. 3 and 0 is the count, and they've walked him, and they've loaded the bases. For the second innings in a row, we've loaded the bases, and this time we have Vlad. Come on, Vladdy boy. Come on, he's one for one. One and two's the count. Come on, Vlad. Oh, why didn't you strike out last time and get a hit this time, you idiot? That ends the second. For the second time, we've left the bases loaded. We can't afford to do that. This is going to come back and bite us on the backside. Trey Harris comes in. 0 for one today. One and two's the count. He strikes out. Duplantier has got his stuff going now, doesn't he? Ozzy Alves comes in. He got that infield hit last time up. 0 and one is the count this time. That is going to be a one-out single into center field there. Hamilton has it, gets it in. And it brings up Acuna Jr., who is 0 for 1. Oh, we picked him off, have we? Have some of that, Albez. Have some of that, you muppet. All right, there's two away. Go on, Duplantier. Let's end Acuna Jr. now as well. Two and two's the count. He does end him in a strikeout. That ends the third. 1-0 down. Now, let's see if we can get some bloody runs across the plate here, boys. Grishuk to lead us off. He walked last time. 0-1 is the count. Randall Grishuk smashes it down the uh, right field line. That's going to be a double, a leadoff double for Randall Grishuk. For once, a change that I've made might be working. Grishuk into the lineup to bat four. He's one for one with a walk, and it's Rowdy Tellez now who is also one for one to see if we can tie this thing up. 0-2 is the count. That gets away from the catcher. Grishuk goes to third. That tying run is 90 feet away with no one out. Surely, surely we're going to score a run. Tellez, one and two. He strikes out. There's one away. Brings up Peraza, who's 0 for 1. He, of course, popped up with loaded bases last time. This time around, he's popped up again. Is it deep enough to score Grishuk? I don't know if it is. No, it's not. Oh, and there's two away. Come on. Carson Kelly, who walked last time up. Two and two's the count. We're never going to score a run, are we? Runner at third. No one out. We couldn't get him across the plate. Still 1-0 down. Again, a missed opportunity. And it's Freddie Freeman to lead them off against Duplantier. Freeman walked last time up. This time he walks again. 
Freddy Walks Again. That sounds like a sequel to a movie, doesn't it? Um, Austin Riley, he's 0 for 1. 1 and 2 is the count. He swings through strike 3. Duplantier sits him down. How many strikeouts is that now? That is 4 strikeouts for Duplantier as Alexander comes in. He's 1 for 1. 3 and 0 is the count. That is a double play, is it? There's 1. Can Bo turn it? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. All right, we're out of the 4. Please, boys, I beg of you, find a way to score a run here. Groshans to lead us off. Just try... Just don't strike out again. Come on, Jordan. Well, he's hit it. That's something. And that is one away. In will come Khalil Lee. We need another third base. He's just not having a good time, I think, does he? Anyway, Khalil Lee comes in. He's 0 for 1 as well. 2 and 2 is the count. Come on, Khalil. Pretend he's right-handed. No, that didn't work. All right, 2 away. And it brings up Billy Hamilton, who's 1 for 2. 0 and 2 is the count. And Billy Hamilton has hit it again. Billy Hamilton, he loves the left-handed pitches. What we lose in Khalil Lee, we gain in Billy Hamilton, it would appear. There's a two-out single. Brings up Bo Bichette, who's 0 for 1. First pitch swing. There goes Billy Hamilton. They've read him like a book, and it's not even close. Hamilton is caught stealing second, and that ends the fourth. We are still 1-0 down. Do plenty A to Unro. 0 and 1. No, 1 and 0, sorry, is the count. That's the ground board of Bo. Over to first mate, and 1 away. Do plenty A now to Tucker Barnhart, who is 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing from Tucker up the middle into the shift. Bo has it again. Over to Vlad. Two away. All right. This is good stuff. Good stuff. It brings up Pache, who is 1 for 2. We all know what happened with that 1, though. Pache pops it up. Hamilton's there. That should end the top of the fifth. And it's going to be Bo, Vlad, and Tellez to see if they can get us back on level terms or better. Here we go with Bo. He's 0 for 1. He's got a couple of walks in there as well. 1 and 2 is the count. Bo Bichette strikes out. One away. In comes Vlad. He's one for two today. Oh, and one's the count on Vlad. He has... Oh, is it going to get down? No, it's not. And that is two away as he's caught in center field by Pache. Go away, Pache. And Randall... Oh, it's Grishuk, isn't it, cleaning up? He got a hit last time up. He's got a walk as well. Three and one's the count. Two out. No one on. Grishuk pops it up. And that ends the fifth, and we are still 1-0 down. There has still not been a run past the first batter of the game. Do plenty A to face Trey Harris, who is 0 for 2. 0 and 2 is the count, and there's another strikeout for Do plenty A. He is good in Toronto. Ozzy Albers, who's 2 for 2. You've had your share of hits, mate. Go away. He does. Excellent stuff. That's two out. In comes Akuna Jr., who's 0 for 2 to face Do plenty A. 0 and 2 is the count. Another strikeout. That's a hell of an innings, do plenty A. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, Jays, let's get these bats going, please. Come on. Tellez, who's one for two, comes in to face Newcomb. One and O oh is the count. Tellez grounds at the second base, and that will be one away. The bats have just disappeared on us, haven't they? We were, we're potentially so good. What is it about the playoffs, and particularly the World Series? We just freeze. Peraza comes in now. You could understand that, you know, first time in the World Series. Maybe even the second time. It's the third time in a row. They should be used to this pressure by now. Peraza gets a one-out double. Tying run is in scoring position. Can we please work this man across? He's quick. It's Carson Kelly who's 0 for 1. He's got a walk in there as well. It's a full count. Come on, Carson. He draws another walk. Two out. No, two on. One out. Other way around, Damas. It's Grosh... Just do your best, Jordan. And there's a strikeout for two away. And it brings up Khalil Lee to face the new man, Vince Valaquez. I've almost certainly pronounced that correctly. And it's a righty. So this does feed back into Khalil Lee's favor a little bit. Oh, and one's the count. Two out, two on. Please, Khalil. I beg of you, please. Khalil Lee! Has he done it? Has he done it? Khalil Lee with a two-out, three-run home run over right field, 379 feet. Welcome to the ball game, Vince Valaquez, you muppet. You've given up a three-run home run, and it's Khalil Lee that has sent it into the fans. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Billy Hamilton, now he becomes the new Khalil Lee. He is hopeless against right-handed pitchers. He's two for three today, though. One and two's the count, and Hamilton grounds at the shortstop, and that'll do it for the six. But... Suddenly, we find ourselves with a two-run lead. It's 3-1 to the Jays. 
and it's Duplantier to continue to Freddie Freeman who has done nothing but walk today. A full count. Freeman, oh, it's, it's going to be a leadoff single. Khalil Lee has it. Get it in, mate. And we're in a situation where tying run comes to the plate. And that'll do it for uh, for Duplantier. It's a really good outing from him. Six, well, more, well, six scoreless innings if you discount the first batter. It's Austin Riley coming in to face Junior Fernandez. Come on, Junior. That's up the middle. That could be a double play. No, just one. Runner does get the second, though. And CJ Alexander comes in. He's one for two today. One and two's the count. Fernandez with a strikeout. A big strikeout. That's two away. And it's Unro coming in now, who is 0 for 2 today. Come on, Junior. Sitting down, son. Two and two's the count. There we go. There we go. We stretch with a 3-1 lead. Are we going to get this series back to 2-2? Two -two? Balaquez comes in to continue to face Bo Bichette, who's 0 for 2 today. One and two's the count. Bo gets it into left field and it drops in for a leadoff single. All right. Is Khalil Lee going to be the one that wakes up our bats? It is Vlad Jr. coming in through one for three today. Runner at first. Vlad Jr. hits it. Whoa, as it were. Not quite good enough. Caught in center field and it gets Bo to second. All right. Grishuk now. Runner at second. One away. Two and two's the count. Randall Grishuk strikes out. Now, we don't really want him in the lineup against the righty either. It brings Rowdy Tellez up. One for three. Two out runner at second. Two and two's the count. And Tellez swings through strike three. And that ends the seventh. Still 3-1. We are up. Fernandez to continue to Tucker Barnhart, who is 0 for 2 today. One and one's the count. That is a ground ball. Vlad has it. Over to first he goes. And that is the first out of the eight. We need five more. Pache comes in. One for three today. Three and one's the count. Don't be scared of him, Junior. Whack him in the head. Whack him in the head. It's a one-out single for Pache. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on, Trey Harris. Double play, mate. You know you want to. One and one's the count. That is... Oh, dear. It's another single. Two on, one out. Come on, Junior. Ozzy Alves comes in. He's two for three. It's the wrong part of the order to be putting runners on. Three and one. Don't do it again. Why does the bullpen hate me? Loaded bases. One out. Acuna Jr. This is going to be a home run, isn't it? Come on, Fernandez. Oh, and two's the count. That's a huge strikeout. Two away. All right. In comes Marshall Kasowski with loaded bases. Well, this is either going to be a strikeout, a walk, or a home run. They are the three options for Michael, uh, Marshall Kosowski. Oh, he's throwing it away. And it's 3-2. That's just a loosener. Come on, Marshall. Get back on this thing, mate. Full count. Two out. Don't. Well, he walks away. It doesn't matter too much now, I suppose. Open base at first. Kosowski walks him. Oh, loaded bases. Two out. This is a massive batter. Oh, I'm sick. I can't, I can't press continue. Come on, Marshall. One and two is the count. Please, please, strike him out. There it is. All right. A one-run lead. We go into the bottom of the eighth. It's 3-2. It feels like game seven, doesn't it? Because we have to win. We just have to win. Peraza, who's one for three, leads us off. It's a full count. Come on, Oswald. He Oswald! Is it big enough? Oh, it is! Peraza! He leads off the eighth with a home run. A second home run of the postseason, 407 feet over left field this time. It's 4-2 to the Jays. We've cancelled out their run. And Oswald Peraza. What a player. What a second baseman he is. I don't think McQuaid's... Oh, no, actually, he will come back in because we'll put Peraza over to third and we'll just retire Groshans for the season, I think. Here comes Carson Kelly. Again, we don't really want him in against a right-hander, but he's done okay there. It's going to drop in. No, it's not. And that's the first out of the eight. In comes Jordan Groshans. Just make it quick, mate. Make it quick. Just walk back to the dugout. Well, you got a piece of it. That's progress. Groshans out at first, though. There's two away. And it's going to bring in the hero of last at bat, Khalil Lee, with his three-run home run. Two out, no one on. Oh, and two's the count. Warm up, Reyes. You're coming in, mate. There's a three-pitch strikeout. And Reyes will come in and try and close this thing out for us. We have two runs to play with. It's going to be CJ Alexander to lead them off. He's one for three today. It's a full count. Come on, Reyes. Don't give them a chance. 
Don't bring that tying run to the plate. He does it. He strikes him out with a wonderful, wonderful pitch. 99 miles, 100 miles an hour even. Wonderful stuff. Riley Unri comes in. He's 0 for 3 today. 1 and 2, sorry, 2 and 1's the count. That's popped up. That should be playable. Hamilton's there. Grishuk's there. Hamilton makes the play. That is two away. They are down to their final out. It's Tucker Barnhart. He's 0 for 3. Come on, Reyes. 0 and 2's the count. Are we going back to 2-2 in the series? Yes, we are. Go on, Blue Jays. That's more like it. Come on. So the hero of the day surely is Khalil Lee. That three-run home run. What a, what a piece of hitting that was. It put us back in the game. It put us in front. And, well, he has been... He's been a revelation this year. He came in for Inciate and just never looked back, really, did he? So it is tied at two. We have one more game left in Toronto and that will be, obviously, next episode. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I won't be having crab for lunch to stay. <laughs> it will be game five. It'll be Sorotka against Pearson. Tellez, warm up those fists, mate. You might need to take him out again. It will be tough. We know Sorotka's class. We know Pearson is class. Oh, let me know what you think in the comments. Can we? Who's going to go one game away? We've got Helsley and Snell to come. They've got DeGrom and Clevinger to come. It's a... It's a pitching masterclass, isn't it? We just need those bats to keep going for us. Anyway, guys, until next time, I've been Aussie Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.